in this video i will find the laplace transform of standard functions the standard functions are unit step signal ramp signal and impulse signal if say f of t is a function then the laplace transform of f of t is given by that is laplace transform of function f of t is represented as f of s which is given by the formula integration of 0 to infinity f of t e power minus st into dt so this is the transform of any function f of t now let me consider the first standard function that is unit step signal unit step signal the unit step signal is represented as So this is unit step signal, we will represent it as u of t, this is 0 and along x axis it is t. So here the unit step signal u of t is mathematically represented as u of t is equal to 1, the unit step signal has having the amplitude always equal to unity that is 1, the value of u of t is always equal to 1 if t is greater than or equal to 0 and its value is 0 if t is now we'll see the laplace transform of u of t so here the function is u of t that is f of t is u of t so now let me calculate the laplace transform of u of t therefore i can write laplace transform of the function u of t is equal to integration of 0 to infinity so f of t here the function f of t is u of t u of t into e power minus st into dt so now let me simplify this further that is laplace transform of u of t is equal to the integration of e power minus st is given by e power minus st divided by minus s now the limit is 0 to infinity so now let me simplify this e power i will apply the limit e power minus s into infinity divided by minus s minus e power minus s into 0 divided by minus s or i can write it as we know that e power minus infinity is 0 so this entire term will be 0 so this minus minus will become plus e power minus 0 is 1 divided by s yes. here e power minus infinity is 0 so therefore laplace transform of unit step signal u of t is equal to 1 by s so now suppose the step signal is having the amplitude say a now let me consider f of t a step signal whose amplitude is a now here f of t can be represented as say this is t f of t is equal to a into u of t so here f of t can be mathematically represented as f of t is equal to a if t is greater than or equal to 0 and its value is 0 for t less than 0 so in this case the laplace transform of a u of t is given by that is laplace transform of f of t is equal to 
as we know the laplace transform of u of t is 1 by s therefore i can write it as a into 1 by s that is nothing but a by s so therefore if the amplitude of step signal is say a then the laplace transform of that is given by a divided by s now we will see the laplace transform of second function that is ramp signal ramp signal is represented as ramp signal is called as r of t and it looks like this now we will consider the unit ramp signal the slope of unit ramp signal is 1 let that is slope of unit ramp signal is equal to 1. So mathematically ramp signal is represented as r of t is equal to t for t greater than or equal to 0 and its value is 0 for t less than 0. Find the Laplace transform of ramp signal. So in this case f of t is equal to ramp signal that is r of t. I will try to find the Laplace transform that is Laplace transform of r of t is equal to by equation 1 I can write the formula as 0 to infinity f of t here f of t is r of t into e power minus st into dt or I can simplify this as 0 to infinity r of t is nothing but t that is t into e power minus st into dt now integrating by parts so i can write laplace transform of r of t is equal to integrating by parts that is t e power minus s t divided by minus s t e power minus s t divided by minus s we suppose to apply the limit 0 to infinity minus integration of 0 to infinity e power minus s t divided by minus s into differentiation of t with respect to t is 1 into dt so simplifying this i can write i can write t is equal to infinity so infinity into e power minus s infinity divided by minus s minus t value is 0 so entire term is 0 I will write it as plus integration 0 to this minus and minus will become plus 0 to infinity e power minus st divided by s into dt. So here e power minus infinity is nothing but 0, 0 minus 0 is 0 plus we have 0 to infinity e power minus st divided by s into dt. So here we know that here s I will take out of the bracket that is 1 over s integration 0 to infinity e power minus st into dt or I can write it as 1 over s the integration of e power minus st is e power minus st divided by minus s 0 to infinity. Let me simplify this here. that is 1 over s so here i can apply the limit that is e power minus s into infinity divided by minus s minus e power minus s into 0 divided by minus s or i can write 
1 over s. So here this term is 0. So minus minus is plus e power minus 0 is 1, 1 by s or I can write 1 by s in bracket 1 by s which is equal to 1 upon s square. So therefore we can write the Laplace transform of R of T is equal to 1 over S square. Suppose the ramp signal is say F of T and we will assume that the slope of the ramp signal is say A. Let slope is equal to A. So in this case f of t is represented as f of t is equal to a into t because here the, here the slope is a in previous case the slope was 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and its value is 0 for t less than 0. So in this case Laplace transform of f of t will be equal to a by a square because Laplace transform so one should remember this. Now we will consider the third signal that is impulse signal. Impulse signal is represented like this. Delta of t is nothing but impulse signal. It exists only at t equal to 0. That is delta of t value is equal to 1. If t value is equal to 0 and it is 0 when t is not equal to 0. It means that delta of t is defined only for t equal to 0. So now we will try to find the Laplace transform of delta of t. Therefore, Laplace transform of delta of t is equal to by equation 1, we can write the equation as 0 to infinity f of t. Here f of t is delta of t. Delta of t into e power minus st into dt. So here as we know delta of t is defined only for t equal to 0 that is delta of t is defined only for t equal to 0. So here I can write it as when t is equal to 0 its value is 1 that is 1 into e power minus st for t is equal to 0 because it is defined only for t equal to 0. So, when t value is 0 here, e power 0 is 1, that is 1. Therefore, the Laplace transform of, therefore, Laplace transform of delta of t is always equal to 1. So, thus we found the Laplace transform of standard functions. So, here I will write the summary, that is Laplace transform of q of t is equal to 1 by s Laplace transform of ramp signal r of t is equal to 1 by s square and Laplace transform of unit impulse signal that is delta of t is equal to 1. Thank you for watching.